Okay, so just yesterday, I released a video about the Dr. Disrespect situation and kind of, I guess you could say, giving it a little bit of an introduction and comparing it to today's video. And I'll go ahead and give you a little summary about what had happened yesterday. Well, a former employee of Twitch decided to come out and tell everybody why Dr. Disrespect was banned on Twitch, which back four years ago, it was a mystery to even Dr. Disrespect himself as he had never got concrete evidence supposedly as to why he was banned. Now in my video, I guess I had made some people mad because I had seemingly taken both sides of well it's possible dr disrespect did it and it's very possible that this person was lying about the accusation altogether and i said this for two reasons one dr disrespect never directly denied that he had any involvement with the rumors or that it was completely false and on the flip side the person that accused dr disrespect or anyone for that matter had shown no proof against dr disrespect so with that out of the way i guess today we will start by saying i am very in the middle and i think this video will show even more of why i'm in the middle and yes dr disrespect finally did uh make a response in video form but just right before i show you that i am really hoping to hit 5k by the end of the year so if you can just go down there give that subscribe button just a little tickle it would mean the world to me and i appreciate you so without further ado here is dr disrespect's only video response as of now for those that are looking for me to expand on this weekend not gonna i already said what i needed to say I don't give a fuck about this guy. That's it. So I do appreciate the donations. I do appreciate the messages. But I like to put it in fifth gear right off the rip. So not to ruffle any feathers of Dr. Disrespect fans here, but again, in his only video response, there is still no direct denying of the accusation. Now, the original accusation was that Dr. Disrespect was messaging or whispering a minor on Twitch asking about a meetup at TwitchCon. Furthermore, there was a allegation that he was sexting a minor. But we can go back to the original person that tweeted it, Cody, who was the former employee of Twitch, who has seemingly backtracked on his claims and there is some very shocking past tweets that he has that I don't know if it clears Dr. Disrespect but it definitely shines a negative light on Cody. Cody who made these very brash allegations in the first place seems to be kind of backing off at least a little bit. Those three tweets warrant admonishment. Maybe more than three. The stance trying to dig up stuff have been so underwhelming that I presume they missed something. I apologize for it all because it's worth apologizing for. The subtext of the bit again shame worthy is that you're the last person to not know. The information had been so normalized, declawed in the circles that I ran in, that could be reduced to an illusion and entendre. For everyone who has since said, that's fucked, I agreed with you on Friday night before I wrote it. I should have agreed with you sooner. I cannot take it back or stop it. I never said I'm a perfect person. I just hope this class grades on a curve. That said, I'm the least sued I've ever been. Guys, lawyers work weekends. I don't think they had a few things they just needed to get before they circled back to this. I'm also a little irked at Jake, who is clearly trying to split the difference with what he thinks is half of his potential audience, but also also, I deserve to feel bad about the things he's flagged. I just do. But I also know Jake is racing to verify the screenshot from the world's leader in multiplayer entertainment is legit. Enforcement ID. And things are dragging on. Knowing who I was racing, I would probably put some content too. Okay, I'm gonna start by saying I'm sorry if you're asleep and I'm sorry if that was a slug to sit through. I hate when people try to use the most annoying vocabulary possible just to seem like the smartest person on Twitter. Nonetheless, in summary, basically he's saying, yeah, I posted it. I feel bad about posting it. And people are digging up stuff about my life. But hey, I already posted it. Let's move on. And he's really trying to backtrack here because he got a lot of, uh, in my opinion, deserved hate for all the debacle that he posted. This guy is trying so hard to get his 15 minutes. Bro wanted to be relevant so bad on Twitter, he ruined his life. Now, the big thing that was dug up that kind of slapped this guy, Cody, right in the face was an old tweet that he made about selling concert tickets, surprisingly. And in his original tweet, when he was referring to Jake, he's referring to Jake Lucky or Jake Sucky over on Twitter who released this. The former Twitch employee who accused Dr. Disrespect is now being called out for promoting shows in 2023 by telling the audience he'd say why he was banned. Basically, this guy, Cody, who is in a band, said, hey, if we sell out my show for my band, then I'm gonna tell you why Dr. Disrespect was banned, which, keep in mind, was a mystery for four years to even, supposedly, even Dr. Disrespect. And this here makes me even more conflicted because it adds that extra layer of the pie that's just absolute filth to 
kind of sift through but just for one more recap right this cody guy a while ago says hey i'm going to post the reason this mystery reason as to why dr disrespect was banned but i'll only do so if my concert venue tickets sell out we don't have the stats of if the show actually sold out or not so let's say it did and that's the reason why just recently this guy cody finally posted the reason or the supposed alleged reason why dr disrespect was banned so now he's backpedaling because he's getting the heat and people are you know going back and finding this stuff about his concert and that's the reason he's posting it interestingly even if this is true he got his concert tickets he posted it whatever that doesn't negate the original accusation against dr disrespect it does make cody kind of a piece of shit because he was so you know gung-ho about posting it and dr disrespect needs to be stopped or whatever but he only did it because he sold tickets to a concert i know it's a mess and i hope you're following along so this cody guy is seemingly dealt with uh, in terms of people figuring out that he's not a good guy and i mean you can compare his numbers from some previous tweets to now he barely got any likes and comments and then post this one dr disrespect tweet and boom you know millions and millions of views and impressions and that's just it kind of shows that he had his five minutes of fame and after this is over it's going to go right back to him fading into obscurity so cody guy is out of the picture at least for the most part he's kind of backpedaled on his own accusations that he started but the accusation still stands so what is happening with dr disrespect himself now dr disrespect was a founder of this game studio called midnight society now midnight society tweeted out june 24th saying on friday evening we became aware of an allegation against one of our co-founders guy bm i think is how you pronounce it which is dr disrespect's real name we assumed his innocence and began speaking with other parties involved and in order to maintain our principles and standards as a studio and individuals we needed to act for this reason we are terminating our relationship with dr disrespect immediately while these facts are difficult to hear and even more difficult to accept it is our duty to act with dignity on behalf of all individuals involved especially with 55 developers and families we have employed along with our community of players so there it is right they the, the studio that dr disrespect helped make is firing dr disrespect because of these allegations now this is where the plot really gets muddy because from one side there is cody who is tweeting saying he did this this is why he was banned indefinitely but at the same time was found to have done it for a publicity stunt for a third party thing as well as having no evidence and still to this day there is no evidence provided against dr disrespect while on the other hand dr disrespect has not once publicly said i did not do this and second it seems like he's losing a lot he's getting fired from his whole game studio and he's still not speaking out about it i mean you would think if you got fired from something you helped create you would at least fight about it right you would say something to somebody like hey i didn't do this these allegations are costing me my business but it's suspicious it's a very suspicious to me that dr disrespect is just taking this line down he's not fighting for it he's not saying anything and like i said yesterday if i was claimed to be a pedophile i would do whatever i could to maintain my innocence to show that i am not guilty of obviously what well i i'll say what seems obvious to be false accusations but for those dr disrespect fans that i seem to maybe upset yesterday i gotta ask why do you think that he is innocent especially when all this is happening for example him getting fired and him not uh, raising any kind of commotion about it or saying hey this isn't right i didn't do this you you can't deny that just as much as there's no evidence against him his suspicions against himself are very high without a shred of evidence presented to the public this is a wild move with no actual evidence being provided and no one willing to present actual evidence you're terminating a relationship with doc yeah this will sure help your game sales now the last thing that we got from dr disrespect himself is the stream ending and him saying basically that he's burnt out and he thinks it's time for him to retire or in his words go off into the sunset like i'm 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 actually tired of being on social media and i've and i've expressed that over the years champ so i just you know i've always kind of hinted like it'd be nice to get off and just completely separate right go live in costa rica or something I don't know, but I'm just feeling burnt out, I think.
you know? And I genuinely just want to say this. I don't know what's the truth, right? On the one hand, you got a fishy guy who's saying all these things that is caught to be kind of a sketchy dude. And on the other hand, you have a guy who is getting fired from his business and not defending himself. He hasn't defended himself or publicly said, I didn't do this once, which you can be whatever kind of a stoic man you want to be. But of course you would defend yourself, right? Like it's a very confusing mess. And I don't think anybody has the concrete, you know, side that they are 100% able to say is the truth but um let me know what you think genuinely i'm curious what you think i guess i would say innocent until proven guilty because with no evidence if we just assumed that the doc is guilty of all of this then what better are we especially if he's innocent so maybe we'll see some evidence and i'll make another video but as of now it is a wild strange mess genuinely i'm curious to know what you think but uh, that's gonna be all for me and i'll see you guys next time